You can automate the exchange of data between ArcGIS and IMDF using FME, the data integration platform that powers the ArcGIS data interoperability extension. Here's a floor plan in ArcGIS Indoors that we'd like to convert to IMDF for use in iOS apps that enable indoor positioning. In FME Workbench, the first step is to extract facilities, points of interest, and other info from the ArcGIS Indoors dataset. Then we send it through a series of transformers, which are tools that manipulate the data and its structure. The sequence of transformers will depend on the format and structure of your source data, but in the end, the goal is the same, to transform the source data so it complies with IMDF standards. At the end of the workspace, we write the data to IMDF. When converting to IMDF, validating the dataset is key. For example, when you submit it to Apple Maps Connect, your data has to meet a strict set of requirements before it can be accepted by Apple Maps. For this, you can send data through the IMDF validator transformer inside your FME workspace and create a report with the results. Or you can use the free online validator tool and get a report in your browser. Say our floor plan is already in IMDF, and we'd like to bring it into ArcGIS indoors for editing and enrichment. This FME workspace converts our IMDF floor plan to ArcGIS indoors. We're extracting venues, buildings, footprints, levels, and units, and again sending it through transformers to get the information into the ArcGIS indoors schema. Then we write to File Geodatabase. Now we can edit the venue in ArcGIS, and when we're ready, send it back to IMDF using our first workspace. These FME workspaces can be run whenever data is updated, keeping venue information up to date in both IMDF and ArcGIS. If your venue changes frequently and you want to launch the workspaces automatically, you can also set up a schedule or event, keeping your data set synchronized across multiple systems. You can even connect to other formats like Tririga, Revit, and hundreds more. More indoor mapping resources and tutorials are available at fme.ly indoors.